Hey, restaurant owners, I wanna to talk to you about the checklist you're using in your restaurant and the five reasons why you may not be getting the results that you want out of the checklist, why they're not working for you. Hey everybody, Ryan Gronfen here, author, speaker, chef, restaurateur, and founder of therestaurantboss.com as well as clickbacon.com. And that's right, I'm gonna tell you the five reasons why the checklist you're using in your restaurant are not working, but before we do that, Go ahead and smash the like button if you enjoy today's video. Leave some comments below. Come to my website and watch this video where there's other free resources and other free videos for you. If you're watching this on YouTube, just click in the comment section below and there'll be a link that'll direct you to this video back on our website, therestaurantboss.com. But either way, leave some comments, smash that like button, tell us what you think. We'd love to hear from you. So let's talk about the checklist in your restaurant. Every restaurant has some kind of a checklist. We know the importance of them. Very few restaurants have as many checklists and very few restaurants have the detail in the checklist that I personally like. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I am crazy about systems, processes, procedures, checklists, prep sheets, temperature logs, maintenance logs, order guides, inventory sheets, the list goes on and on and on. But if we're just talking about a general checklist, let's say like an opening checklist for a station or maybe like a bathroom cleaning checklist, I'm gonna bring up on the screen right now the five reasons why the checklist you're using probably isn't working. Okay, so in no particular order, the first reason why the checklist you're using probably isn't working is if it's assigned to everybody, nobody will do it. That's right, if it's assigned to everybody, nobody will do it. Check out the link right now on the top right or left or somewhere. We're gonna put a link to another video that I did on this a couple of months ago where I tell a great story about anybody and somebody and nobody. But if it's assigned to everybody, nobody will do it. Okay, reason number two. Photocopies of photocopies or laminated versions show that you just don't care. How many of your checklists have like a laminated cover with a grease pen or how many of your checklists are photocopies of photocopies of photocopies of photocopies? This is showing your staff that you just don't care, that you're lazy, that you are not invested in their future. You're so lazy that you're just making a photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy. You can't even print out a new version, let alone actually update it, which is why I suggest that you put the day and the date on your checklist so that way, at least your staff knows that you're checking in on them, you're updating them, you're making sure that they're accurate, and it tells your staff that this is important to you and it should be important to them too. Okay, so number three, you don't actually check up on the checklist. So a lot of times we assume, well, we gave them a checklist, why aren't they doing it? Well, your job is to manage the system, not to give them a system and walk away, right? We manage systems and we develop people. Just because you gave them a checklist, that doesn't mean that you have to walk away from it. You still have to check up to make sure that they're doing the checklist. The difference is, is if without a checklist, you have to check up on a hundred different things. If you give them a checklist with a hundred things on it, you only have to check up on one or two of them, but you still have to check up to make sure they're doing the checklist. Reason number four, your checklists still have items on them that you don't even use anymore. I can't tell you how many restaurants I walk into and when I talk to the cooks and look at their checklist, they're like, oh, that checklist is like six months old. We haven't had that dish on here in forever or we don't use that anymore, right? You're, you're just basically telling your staff that you don't care. You're asking them to do things that are ridiculous in your business and then you wonder why they don't listen to you on the 30 other things that you're asking them. So it goes back to what I said earlier. You gotta keep these things updated. And then what I think is maybe one of the most important reasons why people are not using the checklist that you give them or they're not using them properly is because you're asking for signatures or initials. Don't do that. A checklist is not there for accountability. It's not there to say, ha ha ha, three months ago, you didn't do this on your checklist and now you're in trouble for that. No, a checklist is a tool to help your employees do their job better. Can you imagine hiring someone to build you a house, to frame you a house without a saw or a hammer? How difficult would that be to cut the wood and nail it all together? It would be nearly impossible. 
asking your staff to do the 100 or 200 or 300 things that you need them to do per shift per day would be nearly impossible without a checklist. So it's a tool. It's not there to get them in trouble. It's there to help them do their job. A checklist is there to keep honest people honest. If you've got liars and manipulators and cheaters on your staff, a checklist is not going to help. You've got the wrong person working for you. The purpose of a checklist is to take the person who actually cares and wants to do a good job for you and give them the tools that they need to set up their day for success. So they don't forget to prep items, so they don't forget to set up, so they don't forget to clean certain things, so they don't forget to maintain pieces of equipment on a regular basis. The purpose is to keep your good people good, your honest people honest. So we'll bring those five reasons up on the screen again, but of course, if you have any questions, comments, if you think I'm crazy and I'm completely wrong, tell me in the comment section. I'd love to respond. I'd love to read your comments. I'd love to answer your questions. Leave the comments below, like this video. Until next week, this is Ryan Gromp with The Restaurant Boss, hoping that you have an absolutely fantastic week. Bye-bye. I wanna thank you for watching that video. If you can do me three really quick favors right now, very quick. The first is, if you haven't already, will you subscribe to this channel? In a moment, some things are gonna pop up on your screen, some buttons, and one of those buttons is gonna be subscribe. So whether you're watching this on my channel or on YouTube or on your phone, just stick around for one second and you're gonna see a big subscribe button. If you haven't already, could you please subscribe? Two, if you haven't liked this video, will you go ahead and click the like button? Actually, don't just click it, will you smash that like button and tell the world that you really enjoy this? Because the way that I can continue to bring you all this great free training is for my message to expand for more restaurant owners and future restaurant owners around the world to be watching this. And so the way to do that is to like my video. So again, if you're watching on YouTube, there'll be a place for you to like it. Or if you're back on my website, there'll be a place for you to like that. So smash that like button for me. And then also, could you leave a comment? Ask me a question. I reply to all my comments as fast as I can, usually within about 24 hours. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But go ahead and ask me a question, leave me a comment, tell me you love the video, tell me you'd like to see something else in a video. Or if you need more detail on a certain area, I can film other videos about that. But if you can go ahead in a couple seconds now, it's gonna come out. If you can subscribe, like, and comment, that would be great. Also, there'll be a spot in, the, in this little button coming out in a few seconds where you can download something for free. I'm always rotating that, so take a look at that, some free tools. But if you're new to my channel, if you've never seen my videos before, There'll also be a spot for you to watch a video that'll kind of introduce you to what I do here at The Restaurant Boss and at clickbacon.com and tell you about what we do and how you can get more involved and how you can get more free stuff and all that. So the button should be coming in by now. Go ahead and click on those and have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you so much.